NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has just returned a message to Earth that leaves experts speechless. What lies beyond the infinite expanse of space? Join us as we investigate this astounding discovery. Hello and welcome to Space Time. Subscribe to our channel and follow us. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, and has been in space for nearly 44 years. In 1990, it reached the heliopause, the outermost point of our solar system. The sighting of intense radio emissions from the vicinity of black holes was one of Voyager 1's most remarkable discoveries. Charged particles accelerated to near light speed in the vicinity of a black hole were considered to be responsible for these radio emissions. Voyager 1's discoveries confirmed the existence of black holes and helped us grasp how they interact with stuff around them. When Voyager 1 made a startling discovery, the scientific community was startled. It discovered a significant decrease in the amount of particles originating from the Sun while increasing the number of high-energy particles originating from outside our solar system. This meant that Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. But that's not all. Even more amazing, Voyager 1 discovered evidence of a black hole. It identified a particle beam moving at nearly the speed of light. A shockwave formed this particle stream as Voyager 1 left our solar system and entered interstellar space. The presence of a black hole was revealed by this shockwave. When a black hole forms, it produces a tremendous shockwave which expels the surrounding gas and particles. This shockwave accelerates particles to incredible speeds, as observed by spacecraft such as Voyager 1. But how was Voyager 1 able to identify this particle beam? Voyager 1 was outfitted with scientific equipment known as the LECP, Low Energy Charge Particle. This apparatus was designed to detect and quantify charged particles in space such as protons, electrons, and ions. The LECP instrument detected a significant increase in the number of high-energy particles as Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of our solar system and entered interstellar space. The black hole shockwave accelerated these particles to nearly the speed of light. But what made this particle stream evidence of a black hole? When a black hole forms, it produces a tremendous shock wave which expels the surrounding gas and particles. This shock wave accelerates particles to incredible speeds, as observed by spacecraft such as Voyager 1. The discovery of a black hole by Voyager 1 is significant because it shows that our solar system is not alone in the universe. Other star systems have collided with black holes, and we can detect their presence even if we can't see them. However, the discovery of a black hole raises some intriguing questions. For example, how many black holes are there in the universe? What effect do they have on the galaxy in which they exist? And most importantly, will we ever be able to harness black hole energy? Unfortunately, we do not have all of the answers just yet. However, Voyager 1's finding of a black hole is a crucial step toward understanding the universe we live in. Stephen Hawking was making groundbreaking findings about black holes at the same time. In 1974, he proposed that black holes may produce radiation, commonly known as Hawking radiation, due to quantum processes near their event horizon. This discovery called our knowledge of black holes and their behavior into question hinting that they could gradually disappear over time. Hawking's research on black holes encouraged the development of string theory which seeks to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. The discoveries of Voyager 1 and Stephen Hawking have had a huge impact on our understanding of black holes and the cosmos as a whole. They have challenged our assumptions, resulting in new discoveries and ideas. We now know that black holes are more than simply weird phenomena that consume everything in their path. They also emit radiation and interact with the matter around them. The observations of Voyager 1 and Hawking's work have also contributed in the creation of new theories and models to explain black hole behavior and the behavior of the cosmos. David Finkelstein proposed a theory in 1958 that first defines a black hole as an area of space from which nothing can escape. These black holes can then grow by eating and mixing with other stars, as well as merging with other black holes in their vicinity. It is assumed that most galaxies include one. The presence of a black hole in its centers can be detected by studying its interactions with other substances and electromagnetic radiation, such as MATA's visible light falling into a hole in the ground. It is capable of establishing an external although Voyager 1 has yet to find anything. 
According to physicists, any hints of such minute black holes, however, they say that the proposal should be explored and not be ruled out because Voyager 1 is still in functioning since Voyager 1 is currently transmitting data back and will continue to do so. This will continue until the year 2030. Additionally, quantum mechanics argues that empty region isn't truly empty, but is instead filled with a seething sea of virtual particles and antiparticles, which pop in and out of existence. This phenomena is known as vacuum fluctuations, and it happens as a result of quantum physics uncertainty principle. How does black hole form? Here's the answer to it. When a large star collapses in on itself, black holes develop. The gravitational force becomes so tremendous that nothing can escape it, not even light. The event horizon is defined as the point beyond which escape is impossible. When an object exceeds the event horizon, it becomes trapped in the black hole's gravitational attraction. The stronger the gravitational pull gets as the item approaches the center or singularity. Items that fall into a black hole start spinning around it, generating an accretion disk of gas and dust. The friction of this disk heats the material causing it to emit light and other forms of radiation. Contrary to popular belief, black holes do not exist indefinitely. Stephen Hawking's Hawking radiation hypothesis suggests that black holes lose mass over time as they emit radiation. The black hole will eventually collapse. Black holes have the capacity to merge, creating even larger black holes. When this occurs, the resulting black hole emits a burst of gravitational waves, which advanced instruments like LIGO can detect. Despite their mystique, black holes play a crucial role in shaping the universe we live in. They work like cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in and devouring anything that gets too close. They are also crucial in the formation of galaxies because their gravity influences the movement of nearby stars and gas. Black holes continue to be one of the universe's most enigmatic phenomena, yet our understanding of them is constantly evolving. Thanks to modern technologies and scientific discoveries, we may one day be able to unravel the mysteries of these incredible objects and gain a deeper understanding of the cosmos we live in. A single particle may fall into a black hole. The quantity of radiation discharge grows in proportion to the black hole gradually losing mass due to the evaporation process as the other exits through the black hole in what is now known as Hawking radiation. He proposed the Hawking radiation theory, according to which black holes emit radiation and lose mass over time. This is caused by quantum mechanical events at the event horizon, which can produce particle-antiparticle pairs. Did you know that smaller black holes weighing tens of billions of tons should have extremely high temperatures? This is because the temperature of a black hole is inversely proportionate to its mass. The temperature of a black hole decreases as its mass increases. Larger black holes emit less radiation than smaller black holes which emit more radiation because to their higher temperatures. According to Hawking, black holes are not completely black. They emit a small amount of radiation due to quantum mechanical events surrounding the event horizon. Because of this radiation, black holes lose mass over time, eventually evaporating completely. Hawking also proposed that the temperatures and entropies of black holes are related to the amount of information they contain. This concept of black hole entropy has been a focus of research in quantum gravity, leading to the development of the holographic principle, which asserts that information contained within a black hole is encoded on its perimeter. Kip Thorne is an astrophysicist who has spent his career studying black holes. He proposed the concept of a wormhole which is a fictitious tunnel connecting two points in space-time. Thorne's work has had an impact on science fiction and the concept of a wormhole is commonly used as a plot device in films and television shows. Haven't black holes in Voyager 1 and Discovery blown our minds? Then click the subscribe button to stay up to date on future videos like this. Andrea Giz is another astronomer who has produced important discoveries in the subject of black holes. Her team identified a superassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This discovery has provided crucial insights into black hole behavior and the effects it has on nearby stars and gas. All right, everyone, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Is there anything you'd like to say? Please tell us in the comments section below and remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my daily videos.